All right, guys, today on The Drywall Engineer, I'm going to show you how to actually clone a PCM completely um, with PCM Hammer. If you didn't see the previous video, how to install it, this is the first part of the video. I'd encourage you to go watch, go back and watch that and watch it again. Um, you can use PCM Hammer with a few different devices. Today, I'm using it with the OBD Link MX, which I'll link to both that and the LX in the description below. Those are the two devices that I use all the time. There's other devices that work, so you're welcome to give them a shot. So what we're going to do here, I've already got this hooked up to my bench harness. It's powered on everything else. We're going to go to tools. We're going to go to right full flash clone. It gives you this warning that you can render the PCM unusable. If this is your only PCM and you have to go to work tomorrow, I'd highly recommend you get another PCM. Same as LS Droid. Don't screw around and make these uh, changes on your only PCM and then be messaging me frantically. So I'm sure I want to take the risk. Um, what I'm going to do myself is I'm going to go to my Clifford file. It pops up this uh, warning, have you been powered on? I have or you can wait for the countdown. It doesn't really matter. It'll start automatically when the countdown goes away. Um, it gives you a warning that the operating systems don't match. It tells you that it's changing the operating system in the PCM system. It's uploading a kernel. And then we'll be back when this is done. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so you can see we passed the error checking and everything. So this is now what was a clone of a uh, of Jewel is now a perfect clone of Clifford, my 8.1 liter truck. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to plug it into my HP tuners here. And we'll go over here. to the VCM editor. I have mine set up to open the last file I was working on because I've been uh, tuning Daryl so much lately. I'm gonna read the vehicle here. Might need to power this off and power it back on. And by that, I mean twist some wires together here on my desk. Try again. It's interesting to me that it always comes up as a 4.3, but up top you can see that it's a 2002 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 8.1 liter. So, I already know that this has worked. So, I've changed this PCM into two different other PCMs with different operating systems. That is the VIN number of my truck too, by the way. I recognize it. Um, also, a truck with an eighth digit of G... That's an 8.1, so it's easy to tell. This is now a perfect copy of my Silverado's PCM, which I'm personally going to store in a Faraday cage in case I need it someday. It didn't really cost me anything but 15 bucks at the junkyard, so I have a backup. I don't know how I'm going to find gas for my 8.1 liter truck in the apocalypse, but... I guess if everybody else's stuff gets knocked out, mine, there'll be plenty of gas to go around. All right, we're going to 
back up here. Save that as Clifford clone. Um, I'm just gonna verify, show you guys some of the tables. SDOS, there's some code modifications. The engine type, uh, general 8.1 liter. Uh, I thought the trans type showed up in here, maybe not. The transmission is an Allison in my truck, there it is. Um, so I have a perfect copy now of my PCM for 15 bucks. So there you go. You can do this as many times as you want. I can make 23 copies of this. Um, also, most importantly, let me show you this. I can make a change. Oops, I want the airflow tab. Say I wanna, I can now make changes. We'll just add 2% to the whole table onto the VE. And I can write this change to the vehicle. Just like that. Because it's a perfect copy and completely indistinguishable. So, hopefully you guys use this wisely. Um, hopefully you understand the implications of what that means. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I'll be sure to see you guys next time on The Driveway Engineer. That's it. You can clone. It's perfect.